My name is Robert Newman. I'm with Pam Dent, who is, and she's giving me a tour of various communities. We're at Keswick Estates, and actually what we're looking at is Keswick Hall, which my understanding is this is a country club, golf club? What is this? It is a luxury hotel. Okay. And there is also a... because of construction of the hotel, which is supposed to reopen later this year. It's been closed for about um, the last oh, two and a half years, being completely remodeled and a new wing added on it and everything. Right now they are detouring us through here somehow to get back to the community. And I'm not sure exactly this detour is doing, um, but this is part of the club, and now we're in no man's land with the construction. I got you. Um, and I think this is not getting me maybe back to where I want to go. Well, that's fine. So we're still, <laughs> technically speaking, we're still traveling through the hotel and country club right now, right? Yes. Technically so speaking, what I'm we're trying capturing, to we're capturing get a piece of history, whether or not yeah. we... <laughs> I am trying to get to the gate to get us into the community, and you can see the construction on the hotel up there. Um, Once this finishes, Pam, this video is going to become historic. <laughs> it is, and it is a stunning, stunning community. Um, when it's finished, the views from that hotel overlook the golf course. Okay. It's a Pete Dye golf course, and it was um, totally redesigned so, um, several years ago. It was an Arnold Palmer course before that, and then an old course before that as well. And it is listed in the uh, Golf Digest Top 100 courses or was last year so what you're what you're really saying is that if you're a golfer Keswick Estates is definitely something you might want to put on your list of places to look at yep okay um, I'm hearing that message loud there god these homes are beautiful how, how many square feet is the, or that one looks like it's 5,000 probably 5,000 this one's probably six or seven on the left is an old house from when this was an old community back in, um, boy, we belonged to the swimming pool when it was a club back when I was in second grade. Uh, and it has certainly changed, but there's still new construction. There's still um, lots that can be bought, and I think lots are ranging in price from about oh, $2.95 to maybe $6.95. Okay. As you can see, lot sizes are big. Most of the um, lots are two to three acres. Um, so the, the golf course is winding around behind the lots on the left. This definitely is carrying this this feeling of exclusivity. Yes. Abs I mean, it's, yeah, Keswick Estate is probably a fitting name for it. I mean, look at this one sitting way back up from the road on the right. It's gorgeous. So if lots are setting you back anywhere from three to 600000 then houses are, in, what, what would they range from? The, I'd say the majority of the houses are a million and up. And I'd say one million to three million. I got you. Somewhere in that in that range. And, uh, and I'd say you know more a million and a half to two would be more so the average. Does the home ownership here come with HOA fees? And does it include membership to this hotel and country club, or does it not? There are HOA fees, and I'm sorry, I don't know them off the top of my head, and membership to the club is, would be on top of that. You don't, again, you don't have to belong to the club, and you don't have to live in the community to belong to the club. Uh, there are 
people um, in the community that belong to um, this club and to Glenmore and play both, or belong to this club in Spring Creek. So, um, I got you. It's very, very, very beautiful. I'm going to say, before I forget, for those that are watching this video, uh, I've flown from California. Pam has taken a lot of her time, days, uh, even though she's silently handling the camera of her daughters with us today. If you like what you're seeing, if we're saving you some time, if we're answering any questions that you might have had about the area, do, do Pam a favor and hit the like button on the video. It helps a lot to let other people see the video and shows us that you appreciate the effort that we've taken in order to, to give you a tour of the neighborhood so that maybe you can view this video from Florida or from another state. You may not have the opportunity to come out here or only have a limited amount of time once you do visit. So, you, so this video might help you narrow down your search a little bit. Uh, and that was what the objection, the objective was. How far back does this go? We are getting near the back of it. And of course there are roads winding off um, to the left as well, which we didn't go down. But we are almost getting near the, the farthest, farthest point here. Uh, we've probably seen a good representation of this particular community. I do want to let the viewers know that right now, as we film this, we are in the latter part of winter. So this this area is going to be green and lush and uh, colorful at other times of the year. So just keep that in mind as you watch the video that we're, we're in the middle of a uh, brown season. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Once again, if you have any thoughts, uh, hit the like button or leave Pam a comment. We'll be sure to get back to you.